All right, sitting here with Maurice Matamba, son of SSK, um, back in the in the mother city, Cape Town. Um, how did you arrive at this decision, Maurice Matamba? Um, thanks to you by giving me a way to express myself. But uh, I was in Johannesburg with Sean and. Uh, but I was living like in two places at the same time, you know. I got my girlfriend here in Cape Town. So I need to move back in Cape Town. Sometime. If I finish when when I'm if I'm in Johannesburg, it means I need to prepare or maybe I'm preparing a fight in Johannesburg. So after the fight I need to to come here in Cape Town. But I decide to stay in Cape Town. So and that's all. The decision to stay in Cape Town and, and fight out of Cape Town, um, which camp did you move to? Um, I just wanted to stay in Cape Town, so if I decide to stay in Cape Town, it means I need to find a coach which we're going to work together as a, a boxer, you know. And I spoke to Matteo and I want to work with Matteo, Matt, from Matt, Matt Fit Gym. So. That's it. Have you um, decided on a promotion you'll be fighting for, or you'll be fighting for the Fight Africa promotions that have that has recently come out and Matt's working with? Yeah. Um, so we will speak with Matteo because he wants me to fight at uh, Fight Africa promotion, and I spoke with the promoter also. The promoter he likes me, so waiting for the future. Mm -hmm. Marius, I mean, you're quite an exciting talent. I mean, I've seen you here and I've seen you in Johannesburg. Uh, wherever you go, you cause excitement and I'm sure promoter will be very happy to have you on their tournament. But what is your aims for this year? I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's God who knows the people's future. I don't know this year what, what, I will, uh, what, we go, what is going to, uh, to happen. But uh, all I know that this year will be my year, you know. Uh, I'm very determined to, to come back because it's been two years. I was not in action and uh, so things was not going well with COVID-19, with everything. So I need to come back fresh and start my, a new beginning. And that's what I wanted to ask you as well. Moving back to Cape Town, fighting here do you think you will get more fights uh, probably if with the promotion I'm pretty sure the promoter spoke to me about so uh, I know that I will get more fights and uh, maybe soon or in future I will be a world champion representing obviously Congo um, do you feel that you've achieved enough as it is or do you feel like you, you've got so much more to give I don't know about, you know, uh, Congo is my country, is my nationality. I'm always proud to be a Congolese boy, and, but that doesn't mean that um, I don't like South Africa, but I like, do like South Africa because it's because of South Africa that I'm, I'm like that today, you know. As a boxer, as a champion, I have good people who are supporting me and they give me opportunity, but I'm not South African, they're just helping me as a boxer. Even though you're from Congo, you've lived a lot of your life now in South Africa, uh, Cape Town in particular. You did spend a little bit of time in Johannesburg. Would you consider yourself to be South African as well? Yeah, I do. I do. I really do because I'm living in South Africa. I'm a South Africa citizen. So, and uh, maybe I, could, uh, I can get married in South Africa and having a children. So. I consider myself as a South African because I'm part of it. As you say that, if you fight abroad and obviously your country gets re um, read out, Congo, you know, Maurice Matamba, do you still, um, and they'll say fighting out of South Africa, do you, do you, do you wear, like, on, on your fight trunks, do you wear a Congolese flag and, uh, uh, sorry, a Congo flag and a um, South African flag? Uh, uh I always wear Congolese flag because, you know, all my documents is still uh, 
my nationality, I'm still a Congolese boy. Maybe if South Africa give me uh, like a nationality or they give me something who can, uh, something who gonna prove that I'm representing South Africa, then I will use two flags at the same time. But for now, I need to use a Congolese flag because I'm still Congolese, you know. Fair enough. Fair enough. So when you, yeah, when you get there, you'll you'll help out with South Africa as well. Um, just to finalize things, because you know I don't want to talk about anything until this fight's coming up. We're just talking about basically your move back to Cape Town. I wanted to um, find out because a lot of people would have been you know unhappy when you first moved up to Johannesburg because they've lost their Cape Town son. But I don't think it's ever the case that they lose anyone. I think it's just a case of you doing the best thing that you have to for your career. What would be your message for fans in the Western Cape? Uh, my message is just I'm back where I started my pro career. And I always had good people who were supporting me from the very beginning. Till now, they was always behind me. They was always supporting me. Even if when I was in Johannesburg fighting, all captain always support me. So I'm back here and I know that I will bring the smile that they lost before. Because since my last fight, you know, my fan was worrying why am I not fighting? And then they were not even happy with the fight, my last fight. So uh, right now I'm back and I know that good things will happen. All right, uh, Morris Matsamba in with us here and yeah. We'll talk about fight news hopefully really, really soon. It's good to see you in Cape Town, um, and we'll see you soon. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>